Let us start with the first model from ratio and proportions where we are supposed to find out the ratio between two similar quantities. The question here is a company A sells a 53 centimeter model TV at the price of rupees 7000 whereas another company B sells the same model at the price of rupees 16800. What is the ratio of their respective selling prices? So here we are supposed to find out the ratio of the prices of the two companies. As discussed earlier, ratio is nothing but a comparison. So here we can say that the price of A is to the price of B should be equal to 7000 is to 16800. And by taking this into the most simplest form, we get the ratio between A and B. And this can be taken as 7 into 10 and 7 into 24 which again can be further simplified as 5 is to 12. So we can say that the ratio of the prices of A and B is 5 is to 12. Similarly, we can sometimes have three quantities which have to be compared and there the ratio can be taken as A is to B is to C. For example, A is to B is to C is equal to 3 is to 4 is to 5. So the concept remains same but the only thing is here we have a third quantity and if you want to take the individual fraction they can be taken as a equals to 3 parts out of total 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 parts b has got 4 parts out of total 12 parts and c has got 5 parts out of a total of 12 parts. So whether there are 2 or 3 quantities the concept of ratio remains same. Let us now take the second example based on the first model that is nothing but the concept of ratio. The question here is in an entrance test the ratio of appeared two successful students was 21 is to 11. Find the number of successful students if 1176 students appeared in the test. So as given in the question the ratio of appeared students is to successful students is 21 is to 11. That means if the number of appeared students are taken as 21 parts, the number of successful students can be taken as 11 parts. And the question says the total number of students who appeared in the test were 1176. So very clearly the number of students who appeared is 1176. So from the ratio we can say that the number of students appeared is 21 parts. So this 21 parts can be equated to 1176 and we are supposed to find out the number of successful students that is nothing but 11 parts. So we can say 11 parts should be equal to what? So this is the number of appear students and this is the number of successful students and simply, simply by cross multiplying these two we can get the answer. So we can say that the number of successful students should be equal to 1176 into 11 divided by 21. And by simplifying this, we can say that the total number of successful students will be equal to 616. Let us now take the third simple example from model 1, which is again based on the concept of ratios. The question here is, the ratio of boys and girls studying in a school is 17 is to 18. If the number of boys is 150 less than the girls, then what is the total number of girls? So from the given question we can say that the ratio of boys and girls B is to G is equal to 17 is to 18 and as discussed earlier we can understand that if the total number of students are divided into some equal parts boys will be getting 17 parts and the girls are equal to 18 parts. Now the next statement here is number of boys is 150 less than the girls. Now very clearly if you try to understand the difference of the number of parts the girls are equal to 18 parts and the boys are 17 parts. So very clearly the number of boys is one part less than the number of girls. So we can say that that one part that is equal to x will be equal to 150. As given the question the boys are 150 less than the girls. And we are supposed to find out what is the total number of girls. From the ratio we know that total number of girls are 18 parts. So the number of girls will be equal to 18 parts. That is nothing but 18x. So by cross multiplying we can say that number of girls should be equal to 18 into 150 which comes out to be 2700. So the total number of girls in the school is 2700. 
So friends, from the example that we have discussed so far, we can understand that it is always easy to solve the questions if we consider the given ratio as the distribution of number of parts.